Hello friends. Welcome back to All in on Law. Today I'm going to talk about the important points for USMLE step 2 CK step 1 and step 3 regarding the SCA. That's a sickle cell anemia. What are the important points you have to look for? This is USMLE Pearl, so I'm going to talk very briefly and very important points that will help you for your USMLE examination. Remember, in USMLE examination, if they give the history of a black man, okay, black man or a woman or a child, remember, this is a really very important point, you should look for the history in USMLE examination. And second, if they give the peripheral smear, try to look for what you call high percentage of reticulocytes or retics okay remember and the other important points I'm going to talk about are in history try to look for any uh, what you call uh, clinical conditions uh, that mimicking a pneumonia that's called the acute chest syndrome like they has a repeated chest infections and he has a chest pain cough sneezing rhinorrhea try to think it can be a sickle cell anemia okay so that's very important point that's it acts as an acute chest syndrome okay now look for any infections if they give the history of uh, parvovirus b19 infection it could uh, they did in the usml examination they give the prior history that past history that um, he had an infection with a parvovirus b19 infection so it can lead to a plastic crisis so remember a plastic so very important okay and fifth point try to look for the history of splenectomy it could be out of splenectomy or in uh, peripheral smear they give the history of uh, they give the there's a they saw how well jolly boys okay so remember these are really very important okay splenectomy now we have the sixth point that's nothing but they give the history of a bone pain remember this is very important bone pain okay and uh, the seventh point try to look for what you call uh, hand foot syndrome or dactylitis like painting of the what you call uh, um, joints or painting of uh, what you call uh, toes okay this is really very really important and this is going to be a classic initial manifestation in infants okay the dactylitis or sometimes the other what you call clinical features or clinical signs or laboratory findings could be a renal papillary necrosis renal papillary necrosis then we have priapism priapism really very important because in the USML examination they give the history of priapism that is unable to have the what you call a uh, good uh, sexual um, life so they give the history so try to remember this is really very important and then we have what you call the cholelithiasis there's a pigmented cholelithiasis okay then uh, splenic sequestration crisis stroke okay so these are the important points you should remember okay so try to look for this history in USML examination and uh, it could be a sickle cell anemia okay guys so uh, what do you call I hope you find this very helpful and a really very important points for USM examination. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.